Hello everyone, Nodis Fan here. We are going to take a look at the NHL 11 demo that was just recently released. Going to go through uh, the main uh, points that the demo uh, hits home with here, as you see the main opening cinematic here um, with uh, Mr. Jonathan Tays uh, moving in, uh, in on uh, Hiller there, and then we're in on to our options here. And in the demo. You have the chance to battle for the cup now, which puts you in the third period of the seventh game of the Stanley Cup Finals. And also, you've got the, a look at the ultimate new ultimate team. But first, I'm taking a look at the new face-off uh, tutorial here. There's a new face-off system in play. Um, you can work forehand, you can work backhand, you can try to tie the guy up and kick the puck back, you can try to just uh, body into the player and uh, you know bowl your way to the puck, you can try to um, to tie up and let another player come in and, and help you out with it. So it's kind of a, new, a, a nice uh, system that gives you more options of going about a, a way of, uh, of winning face-offs here. So I'm just working through the drills here. And it, as it says, the longer you hold your grip and on a forehand or backhand, the better chances of being successful. As there you see, I work it back to a uh, teammate. So anyway, just uh, looking at the uh, tutorial on that, because that was really the only new uh, skill that was uh, included there in the tutorial. So we'll move on to the battle for the cup now. And a new one, of course, because there's nothing to load from the demo. And of course, it'll be a uh, rematch of Flyers and Blackhawks, like I said, uh, Game 7 third period and in this case it, it just picks up randomly but we're tied 3-3 going into this one so uh, just showing you some of the some of the new hits uh, we do have a new physics system in play which is a uh, very obvious when you start seeing some of the hits uh, later on you'll see lots of uh, lots of pretty cool hits and they're not they're not canned you know everything's uh, pretty much physics related so um, seen some really nice ones in the short time of playing here they try to deke and uh, try to get a try to get a uh, goal there to no avail so um, again, coming down with a pass play and a nice, nice uh, play by the goaltender Niemi, who <laughs> already is not a Blackhawk anymore. So uh, rosters will need updating, of course. You see another nice hit on a replay here. So um, here you'll see uh, uh, another big hit. And here's a new thing: is uh, sticks separated from players. Uh, player loses his stick in the hit. Uh, stick gets kicked away from him. He's got to go find it. Uh, here's a cool thing, uh, not really publicized, but user-controlled celebrations are back in, and there you go. You see uh, an example of what you can do after scoring a goal. Um, I think that was missing from the series for a while now. Here you see another player separated from his stick. He'll have a long ways to go get that in the corner. Here you see another big hit. Just a, ex more examples of the physics that I could uh, pull out of my time with the demo here. And um, once again, there's one that'll drag the player into the corner. Um, liking all the uh, the variations there, he just kind of clipped them and uh, and grazed them, and so um, and there's the hit that separated the player from the stick from earlier. So so you just see some replays of some of the examples. Uh, pretty cool that the stick is now a separate entity and uh, it can be uh, it can be lost. And as you'll see soon, it can also be broken this year. Uh, there you see a sick goal. Uh, spotlight's in now. That was actually Stanley Cup uh, winner against myself there for the Blackhawks. But you see the nice goal and the spotlight comes on the player. And you'll see later on, um, you know, because it kicked into the Stanley Cup anime, um, cinematic there, you didn't see much of the spotlight. But it's kind of cool touch uh, spotlighting the goal scorer. Uh, go into another another uh, another go round of the battle for the cup now and here I get a goal to, to tie it at two and you see me do the knee, the uh, slide on the knees there so that was one of the uh, user controlled uh, celebrations pretty soon here you're gonna see something pretty darn cool and I don't remember exactly when it happens here as I'm working the puck around a bit getting a shot on net um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the game remains as it was. Uh, there you go, first broken stick here. I'm gonna slow this down so you can see. You see the stick in two pieces there, and the player <laughs> discards it and he goes to play the body in the corner. Um, so you can, uh, you know, once your stick is gone, you can get it from another player. You can go to the bench for an, for a new stick, or you can play, you know, without it until you're able to do so. So I'll have another example of a broken stick here in just a while. Um, but um, here you the, you'll see Sharp snap his right there. So there you go. There's another broken stick. He goes back to the bench as a nice wraparound by Hosa as he does. 
He breaks the stick and heads back to the bench to get a new one. So very cool, very cool addition. I know people have been asking for that for years, and there it finally is. And there's a, an overtime winner for myself in the battle for the cup mode. So if, uh, Philly gets the revenge and gets the cup that time. So uh, just playing through a couple games of battle for the cup. Uh, here you'll see they will show you the Stanley Cup uh, cinematic when you uh, do indeed win it. And uh, the bulk of it, if not all of it, has remained unchanged from last year. I didn't really see anything new. It could be holding back something, I suppose, for uh, for the retail copy. But uh, you know, most likely not. It's pretty it's pretty well flushed out already. So um, here we are creating a team in the ultimate team mode, uh, and this is just a, like a training for it. Um, you, your team will not carry over from the demo that you assemble from your cards. So here you see you get a pack of cards to start with. You'll get a bunch of common players, and you will get um, a few mixed in that are that are more decent established players. Uh, as you see, gets left there. Uh, I believe they also got Nicholas Backstrom of the uh, Caps. So uh, you know there are a few good ones in there, and then you are able to tr check out a tournament mode here called the Rookie Cup, and obviously there'll be more tournaments available once the uh, retail copy uh, is released. So here you go. You can you can uh, go through your cards, edit your lineups. Um, you know, change around who, who plays where, uh, you know, contracts come into play as far as how long you can use the cards, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you obviously, instead of coins and Madden, uh, they're, they're EA pucks, I believe, in, in, in NHL. But uh, here you can see the chemistry and all that. And here for, for going through this mode, you unlock a free Ultimate Team reward pack when you get the full retail version. And there's a way to get a second pack, and that's by inviting a friend to the demo, which uh, I do here. And you'll get the notes. Uh, congratulations, you earned another reward pack. So that's two reward packs that you can get for your ultimate team uh, when the retail copy comes out, just by going through the demo and doing these couple things. So here you'll see me entering into a tournament, uh, just like Ultimate Team in Madden or any of those other games that you played. You'll see the hodgepodge of you know you you have to earn your stadiums, you have to earn your um, your uniforms, all those things. So I'm wearing Detroit Red Wing. Uh, home uniforms, but I'm apparently the Kings organization, so, uh, well, or Kings logo anyway, um, and I've named my team Team Not As Fan, so I think I'll have to redo all that when the retail copy comes out, but, uh, you know, here I am as Team Not As Fan. Uh, there you see a player again, big hit, and separated from his stick, and he's, as he tries to get it, the other players kick it. I, I love that. I love the detail of that. That's real lifelike. Uh, that's just adding more realism to the game that already was pretty darn good. Uh, there you see a rebound goal, and there's the spotlight as I do the knee slide. Um, so, uh, win that game one nothing, and I earn some EA pucks, and, and those will be put towards buying new packs, uh, you know, buying cards outright that are that are on the, the shopping block, um, going to be able to go and um, put bids on cards that other people have up. All those things works very similar to, you know, Madden Ultimate Team. So, uh, that's just a little rundown of it. Um, as I go... Uh, it, uh, apply some training uh, points to these different cards here. As you see, I give him some defense and, and up his uh, up his defensive numbers. So I come out. My other my other uniforms are are leaf sweaters. So I come out for the next game wearing leaf sweaters. And uh, instead of playing a minor team, now I've got to play the Flyers. So um, you know, as you as you progress in the tournament, it steps up a little bit and. Philadelphia shows me who's boss in this game as uh, as my firepower quite uh, isn't quite uh, up to par. So um, you'll see them get a couple goals on me and I believe uh, knock me out of the tournament two nothing. So uh, for a first run through, it was pretty fun. Um, the demo is good. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the NHL has a good reputation these last few years of giving you a solid uh, base to work from the demos. So there you have it. Give the demo a try. Uh, consider the retail copy when it comes on out. This has been Not As Fan walking you through the NHL 11 demo. I will see you guys soon.